Welcome to today's presentation, an online tutorial on conveyance calculations from the AAPL study guide. And we're going to be looking at conveyancing problems on page 72 right now. And we're going to continue and do all 12 of them eventually. But we're going to first take conveyancing problem number one, and this is on page 72. And I'm going to break the answer up into two different um, uh, tutorials because question C here really requires a lot of explanation. So we're going to cover A and B. That's really one topic and then C is another topic. So for right now we're just going to cover A and B. But let's begin by reading the problem together. And what it says is that Adam owns a 100% mineral interest in the lands underlying section 6. Okay, now that's relevant. So he has a 100% mineral interest. So over here in my notes, I'm just going to write, you know, 100%. And that's for Adam. Okay, or A. Adam then conveys to Baker a 1 eighth royalty. So Adam then conveys to Baker a one-eighth royalty interest in the oil and gas produced and saved. Now, what, what they're trying to teach you here is to how to watch out for the language that indicates whether an instrument is a royalty interest or a mineral interest. And why is it relevant to us as landmen that are leasing oil and gas? Because we're not going to take a lease from the royalty interest owner. We're only going to take a lease from someone who owns the minerals, whether it's 100% of the minerals or 50% of the minerals. So when A conveys to B this 1 eighth royalty, he's not conveying a mineral interest. He's only conveying a royalty interest. And what he's saying is, okay, B, I'm going to give you this 1 eighth royalty. If I ever lease this property and if they give me a, um, a royalty, I'm going to give you 1 eighth of that royalty. Okay? This is known as a non participating royalty interest own, owner. Sorry. It's abbreviated frequently as NPRI. It's a non-participating royalty interest. And just to give you an example of how this works, let's say that uh, Adam has a son. So Adam, dad, uh, he has a son who's, you know, having some financial difficulty. And he says, well, you know, I don't really, this kid's really not that good with money. So I'm not going to give him a mineral interest because then, you know, they can lease from him. But I do want him to earn some income in the event that I do lease. So I'm only going to, son, I'm going to give you a one-eighth royalty interest, okay? Dad's not leased right now, so he's just given him a one-eighth royalty interest. That is called a non-participating royalty interest, um, non-participating royalty interest. And the reason it's called that is because only the mineral interest owner has the right to what we call the executive right, and all that means is they have the right to execute the lease. Okay, the royalty interest owner here does not have the right to sign a lease, and he's not going to ever be entitled to bonus payments, he's not going to get delay rental payments, he's not going to get shut in royalty payments. All of that is going to go up to dad as the mineral interest owner. Okay, so one of the questions here is who has the executive right? And all they're saying is, look, who has the right to sign a lease? Is it the mineral interest owner or is it the royalty interest owner? Now, I want to make sure we're talking about a royalty interest owner um, as distinguished from the royalty interest in the lease. We're talking about before there is a lease, dad is saying, son, if ever I get any money from this, uh, well, from, from our, this land, I'm going to give you part of the royalty that I will have in the lease. That's all he's saying. So dad has the executive right. So who has the executive right? It's Adam. Okay. Then what happens is Adam then leases 
Adam then leases to Big Oil. And he reserves a 3 16th royalty interest. Okay? So um, the royalty under the oil and gas lease is 3 16th. Okay? That's what dad is entitled to under the lease. Okay? So the question is what is being conveyed here? What is A conveying to B? Is he conveying a royalty interest or is he conveying a mineral interest? If it's a mineral interest, that's very important to us because that's who we're going to take the lease from. If it's a royalty interest, we're really not that concerned about that at the leasing stage. Now, this will show up on a division order um, pay sheet or deck. The title attorney will pick up on this royalty interest. But if you see the words in a deed that says produced and saved, that is not a mineral interest. If it's a mineral interest, it will say oil and gas in and under my land. So if it's saying just produced, that is this royalty interest, this non-participating royalty interest only. So what type of interest did he convey to Baker? He did not convey his mineral interest. He only conveyed his royalty interest. Okay. Now the next question we're going to cover is going to be in part um, two. Um, I don't want these to run too long. So I'm going to go ahead and, and handle this question in part two, and I'll see you in the next section.